Here we are, alive and in the flower room for a uh, Barney's Farm Pink Bush update. So let's uh, just walk on by all the dankness here for a second and get down to the main, uh, the main deal here, uh, which is definitely the Pink Bush. Um, <laughs> Should have realized right from the get-go uh, with the size of the nugs that um, that they were pollinated early in flower, uh, which tells me that uh, when I trimmed out the underside of the canopy and uh, did a little bit of leaf stripping, that uh, the genetics definitely couldn't handle it, and a herm. Um, but in saying that, in today's world, with the genetics that are out there in the breeders, there's absolutely no excuse for this. Um, total, total big time amateur. It's ridiculous for a company like Bonnie's Farm to be putting this stuff out. But yeah, on to uh, yeah, what we're going to do about it. <laughs> well, uh, first thing we had to do was, uh, as soon as I realized it, with a tester there with 100 seeds in it, that, uh, yeah, I had to get some uh, nice filtered water and spray the heck out of the underside of the canopy, under all the leaves, under all the nugs and stuff like that there, to uh, deactivate or to, uh, yeah, get the pollen to kind of stay still for the harvest. Uh, we don't want to be spreading any more of that around through, uh, through the garden here. So, um, yeah, the last two days we've been going through spraying underneath and I believe we should have it by now so uh, yeah these buggers are coming down today and uh, yeah we're gonna move in some more uh, some more stuff maybe Apollo 13 or something but uh, yeah I just uh, <laughs> find it hard to believe that uh, yeah it's just amateur junk um, no excuse as far as I'm concerned in a way um, when a company puts out foul genetics like this they should be like anybody else to do a recall get those seeds back in and uh, so you don't have them out there polluting other genetics because uh, this is ridiculous but hey we'll move on and uh, we definitely got more in the bedroom that we can pop in here but uh, yeah, so for everybody thinking about getting into the breeding thing here, a little bit of advice. Make sure you can grow. Make sure you can grow good. Uh, if not, if you're doing breeding, keep seeds to yourself. And please do not spread them out. Because uh, the pros are pros for a reason. <laughs> and uh, yeah, seeds just don't go with dankness. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little episode here. And keep your joints lit, your bowls full, and your head held high. Until next time, bye for now.